computer look like in your school? What should computer experience taking look like in your school? It cuts across a lot of your own projects, but it also thinks about what should school look like? What should project-based learning look like for students? Right, so it's a question. So what the design thinking process goes through, six, six stages, sorry, five stages. One is this idea of empathy. And the first stage of empathy is interviewing, knowing what the users, who the students are, what they want to know. The second thing is defining who these people are. And I'm going to walk you through these different stages. The next one is brainstorm, creation. And then the last thing, which is why we have this wonderful template over here and all this crazy stuff, is called rapid prototyping. Rapid prototyping, which means if you think the kids you want to build a website, make a website out of post-it notes. Make an iPhone app, right? Little draw circles, and you show the next stage after each other. This is what they do at the design school, and they start thinking about, well, what should it look like? Again, we should not spend 10 hours creating a prototype, right? We could do a simple website and a mock-up of what it could look like in, in five minutes. So it's, again, this process of doing the project yourself, getting critique, getting feedback from each other before we actually dive into, let's create this long process and this planning process before we spend lots of time planning. Let's think about what is the product that things their kids are gonna create and spend some time doing it. So um, we're gonna run through this experience. So the first thing is empathy. And again, what we're thinking about, and lots of times we think about in our school, is we think about all the kids, right? And in this scenario, you're gonna interview our lovely four students. You guys can come down right now. You can choose a table. And you're going to interview. Yeah. <laughs> 